I am Bilal Masood from Center for High Energy Physics, Punjab University and uh, what you are watching is the first video of a physics course, uh, title of the course is uh, Quantum Mechanics Made Clear and Quantum Mechanics is, uh, is a comprehensive theory which is applicable to everything, every phenomenon, every phenomenon. but uh, it's uh, more difficult for the same problem, it's more difficult then ordinary what you know Newtonian physics if you have studied that through education otherwise you can say common sense physics as compared to that it's difficult and so it's a question is that do we really need it because because of difficulty we will apply only where it's needed and the need is situation becomes that if you take a visible size uh, thing, like uh, in this case, uh, you can see visible size is a bone, and if you see it's in a microscope, you see it's a composed of uh, cells, and um, and further maybe uh, more technology which uh, maybe you know or not, it's electron microscope or whatever it is, or maybe through your model or theory, somehow you know what, what are its internal, its further constituent, what it is composed of. You go in uh, as a parts and parts and parts and there eventually you read uh, uh, the world of atoms or uh, molecules or so, these are uh, or even uh, smaller than that its part where would you reach that near ultimate structure then your simple ordinary common sense newtonian classical whatever you call it physics simple one easier one that does not apply and you have to use which is more difficult but this course will try to tell you it's more difficult but it's not uh, impossible and hopefully not very difficult but, but it remains uh, more difficult Agreed, but but uh, it's more difficult, but it has more applications as well. So that's uh, that's uh, what you get out of uh, that, paying the price of uh, uh, handling difficulty. For uh, this is just what I'm saying. There are just uh, three examples of its application, but they are uh, but you know they are just three. I mean, their applications are numerous. I mean, three are, uh, for example, CD DVD player. Is it, you use uh, and you uh, scanning electron microscope maybe you don't use it but uh, but it's a technology there and laser diode I don't know where in which apparatus it is used and there are many more I think uh, for you the more practical thing is that uh, you you learn quantum mechanics and then when you know quantum mechanics then you search and then you will find application and application and application I tell you okay now for this I clarify that this is a university level course it's not a popular science course so you study by proper technical physics uh, and this is actually this uh, playlist uh, with, with, with details is meant to be studied as a, as a, as a university course. I mean, I've taught this as a four credit course, and uh, to, to understand that, maybe less than others or whatever it is, I think your prerequisite for physics are. Uh, hopefully lesser than maybe some others and hopefully these are taught at your intermediate level or in America technology you you say high school level if you know definitions of linear and angular momentum and definition of kinetic potential and total energy and the Coulomb law for force and I think as well as for potential energy as well and then simple harmonic oscillator potential half k x square and uh, then things which are slightly more difficult but uh, I hope they are also taught at the same level although in the later stages of, the, of that level, intermediate level or high school level namely the photoelectric effect which, which, which is explained, which was explained by Einstein that uh, the energy 
of light is discretized in terms of units and and the energy of each unit is uh, depends upon the color through uh, appearing through frequency and if you have a more frequency that means you are near violet color or uh, then the energy of the packet is more so that you should know i don't have time to explain photoelectric effect in this course you can see through other information google or ct if you have not studied that properly and uh, the other work of einstein relativity has uh, an expression for effective increased inertia moving mass called that you should know that's all physics requirement nothing more but mathematics requirement is more so here it may be you you need uh, uh, more than intermediate maybe college level university level matrices are taught i think in uh, intermediate level as well but um, a limit differentiation integration especially for integration i think you need uh, higher education than intermediate so let's see but in principle integration is also taught in intermediate uh, those who, who opt for mathematics and uh, for an optional topic uh, maxwell equations means uh, gauss's law differential forms of, uh, of gauss's law and mps law and faraday's law and others are needed but that is for an optional topic and it's better if you know it otherwise you can manage even without that there are alternative to that in the course to this this is optional okay with that uh, relatively simple prerequisite and this course takes you to the function probability and double slit experiment and that's very very well known or maybe considered to be puzzle 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 of uh, of quantum mechanics that's known in, in popular science as well double slit experiment and then the question why quantum mechanics is is mechanics why how it is related to motion and uh, then operators every for every quantity you have operator you have momentum operator you have energy operator and so on and then uh, is a portion related to postulates of quantum mechanics uh, Uh, Schrodinger equation is not the only postulate, although it's thought to be. But there are other, and they lead to expectation value, which is measurement average, uh, and then probability current and tunneling, another uh, uh, famous topic uh, e even in popular science. And simple harmonic oscillator is quantum mechanic version, raising a lowering operator, and then angular momentum is is used in hydrogen atom. you know that much is necessary for every where if you claim that you have studied university level quantum mechanics i think everyone will expect you that you you know these things but there are other things which may be not everywhere they are taught um, addition of angular momentum identical particle that includes pauli exclusion principle and approximation method one of the approximation method is perturbation theory and only that we have time here for that and do you the special thing about this course is that with this relatively simple prerequisite the course takes you to these uh, topics which i told you in the previous slides but there is no compromise on logic here you get complete argument with the complete relation with observation Uh, that means complete justification as far as human beings know i mean if something is not known obviously i cannot convey you okay complete in the sense that logically complete but for that you will have to do mathematical some mathematical steps yourself or you just uh, understand that this mathematics can be done because obviously in a limited time you have something like the plan is a uh, 27 lecture with 20 to 25 to 30 minutes each i cannot show each and every mathematical step but all in all hopefully that will achieve that whenever i say will say in this course science says i will not put any pressure to you to to you just accept what science says i will tell you why science says that the answer so the answer to every why if you systematically follow this course 
then that hopefully if fulfilled will be something possibly unique to this course and, and the audience has to tell me whether they they get that from course but effort is that they should get now that's the full course and now coming to the the lecture one which is uh, this one and their um, uh, start is uh, by clarifying that um, the, the puzzles uh, which are known or claimed about quantum mechanics they can be called puzzle okay but uh, uh, but not, they should not be taken as, uh, as uh, at least as a, as a contradiction. And one of the things which is uh, sometimes taken uh, impression is that it goes as bad, 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 bad as it's uh, they, uh, this uh, as contradiction in the tree that is a very notorious uh, wave particle duality. And he will say that if you are practical and if you see, if you know science, if you know science is an explanation of observation, and then, then I have to tell this lecture, the first lecture is to tell you that in actually observation and in explanation of observation, there is no, no contradiction. Uh, I should conclude after only after telling you details, so I don't start uh, de telling detail right now. Uh, at right now I tell you what is the plan and the plan is uh, that uh, you know what we see you should learn this uh, phrase this combination visible effects so how do you what do you see or what do you see about it's not necessarily that you see everything in case of light you have to think of that can we see the path but anyway, I start with the moving bell where we can see the path. So there may you make uh, one relation of particle with visible effects. Then you have a bullet where you can, in principle, you can see the path, but practically you cannot. So you start, hopefully you start thinking on a, on a new line. In case of light, I don't know whether you know or not. You may think that you can see the path of light, but it is actually not. So once you know that how what you see about wave and what you see about particle, then you can understand hopefully the the or no, hopefully you can make your own opinion that electron or photon is like is a particle like a, like a ball or is a wave like uh, what you have been thinking so far maybe light or or something else but let's wait rather than telling everything before starting lecture and I think we should start lecture now. And in that lecture you should uh, note one uh, color scheme because you know I've, I've said it that uh, science is the explanation of observation so you should know where is, where is the observation where is the explanation. So the observation board I have uh, colored by red and explanation which is uh, which is if it is the uh, explanation uh, through something which is itself is not observation, invisible thing like electron or so, you can't see. But that invisible thing explains the observable things. So if it is invisible, it's blue, and if it is visible, invisible explanation, that's blue, and it explains visible, which I have given a red color. So that's uh, a parallel thing, if you can pay attention to it, that will be good. Otherwise, don't bother. You just to see what the text is, and and you may skip that uh, distinction. Okay, I start with uh, I've been uh, let me saying a ball of any game, maybe cricket or, uh, or, or football, it's a basketball here. You can see the path, so that can be your prototype of a particle. But if you think that uh, particle means uh, uh, you always see the path, then you think of bullet. Bullet ties, you see the dots. Can you see the path? You can see if you use a technology. But you know, for, uh, for understanding this course and understanding quantum mechanics, I strongly recommend that you do not depend upon your knowledge of the path. So suppose this technology were not available, do you think your mind will not work? And, and I think it should work. Just see what are effects and from there you conclude what is the path 
And then if you, li if you like, you conclude what if. Although I, if you totally follow me, then I would say that do not pay attention to or do not uh, be pro preoccupied by thinking what the thing is. Just say what are effects, because effects are visible. And science and explanation are, are visible. But if your imagination um, forces you to think what is, then what you, whatever you think that what the thing is, what is ball, what is light, you see, you, you, you conclude your uh, effects and then compare with actual observation. And that's how I think uh, you should do in, at least in quantum mechanics, if not in whole science. I recommend in the whole science, but that's the philosophy of science, which is the next uh, series, not, not this series. Okay, now coming to the light, which uh, where you may have, uh, you don't, uh, you don't know, maybe you don't know that much, uh, as you know about uh, cricket, b cricket or basketball ball, or you know about uh, about uh, maybe bullet, light may pose some challenges to you. But the first challenge is that uh, in case of light, can you see only effects when light strikes, or you can see the path? And if you think uh, you can see the path, then you should know that at least in certain situations you can see only effects. And in and many other situations where this uh, uh, photographic studio arrangement is not there, actually you see only effects. But if you want to see path, apparently you can. You, 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 you hopefully you are seeing it, you have seen that, uh, that if you have a dust particles, uh, uh, and then a light comes from window, you may think you are seeing the path of the light, but that is not a path. It's the same thing, light strikes here, and here the light strikes on, on dust particles, and what you are seeing is a dust particle, like, like this, you are not seeing the path of uh, light. But uh, if you introduced, uh, no, that's the terminology you have to use in proper quantum mechanics in, in third lecture. You know, presently the quantum mechanics is not, has not started. This is the ordinary thing. You, you, you're, uh, you're used to this thing. But start from here thinking that if you want to see the path, you have to change experiment. That feature is, is very much used in, in lecture number three. And that, and by that, but when I say lecture number three, that is where quantum mechanics should have, would have started. Now to, to require the mental training, to tell you what is the mental training required for this course, I make the picture, the, the experimental arrangement is, is actually the experiment is done in a way that is understood uh, through quantum mechanics and uh, is, is done through high technology. But uh, for the moment, uh, for this lecture, you need not pay attention to this, what is happening here. Just think of that, there is a screen. And if you can't see the, the path, but only on the screen, the question is, are you able to think? And the answer is, you should be able to think even if you see only what's here. For example, if you see dots only here, I think you should think that they pass through this, this slit, like, like bullets, like particles. But if you see what happens, here it is. In the screen, which I showed you here, through this kind of experiment, you have this result. You know, there are dots, but they're scattered as more or less, I fall. Can you see what it is? Have you seen something like that? Have you seen water waves? Say the pattern is same. So the dots are scattered like uh, like wave, you should say. But every dot is, I think you should say particle. So here you see the two different things related to the same experiment. Well, you can say same particle, dots as well as distribution. So what do you conclude? The conclude is that as you can say that every dot is a, is a particle, but the pattern of dot is a wave. So you have two words used, particle and wave. 
use for the same thing. Mm, what is thing? Start thinking. But uh, do, uh, that's the end of this lecture. And uh, here the only requirement is, is, is understanding the logic. That if you have a different information that need not be taken to be contradictory. Because if they're different, there can be different answers to different questions. If you have the same question, different answer, and then you can say clashing or contradictory or not. But they are different because the questions are different, then don't think that they are contradiction. Like a, like a person, you, you can think of that, you can ask two different questions about a person, where he or she was born, and what he or she is doing, you will get different answers. In my case, you will get uh, answer to the first, where I was born, or where my ethnicity and so on, the answer may be in a variety of ways and one could be Asian. And what I do that can be said in a variety of ways and one could be scientist. But are they contradictory? Well, at least you would say, would you like uh, making the phrase for me Asian scientist duality? I mean, if it's duality, if you like the word duality, okay, it's your choice, but at least don't think that that is a contradiction. The, I mean, you know, the, the impression of contradiction in case of uh, electron, not in case of a person. Electron, when people say something like that, sentences like that, that electron uh, behaves sometimes like a wave and sometimes like a particle, and I'm not sure how, what students uh, take from it. Especially when uh, the, the, the person speak, speaking out that uh, phrase does not tell them that when it, what was the rule? When it is wave, what is particle, and that is left to that sometimes, and they have to think that, you don't know, it's a puzzle, it can be simultaneously both electron and wave, and there you start thinking they are, that's a contradiction. But I, I would suggest don't use these kind of things. Just accept the logic for explaining observation. And uh, you are still interested in knowing what electron is, that in next uh, lecture will give you something like that answer is the different, the answer is that it may be, it travels like a wave and it strikes like a particle, travels the results in a distribution which I showed uh, today, like a wave-like distribution. But travel or distribution are different uh, answer, two different questions. And dot or strike are different answer, two different questions. So there is no contradiction and um, and that lack of contradiction is later extended in this course to, to photons in light particles as well. To know all this, you have to know, you have to listen to a few more uh, videos for today's lecture or, 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 or the, the outline I showed you, complete outline. You should uh, listen to systematically maybe 27 videos. So whatever you, you choose, you should remain um, informed about that and for that you should subscribe to our channel. So I hope I see you in next lecture now.